Lower Clive Vale adjoins Hastings Old Town and thus has become a real hotspot for buyers looking for large period property. Goblin Road that I'm walking along was approved for development in 1871 after the purchase of land previously owned by a prominent local MP. A brief stroll down this road and you're in the heart of the old town or could be standing on the beach. It's a popular road and that's why you'll find a range of stunning homes that we've recently sold with lucky owners now enjoying what the local area has to offer. Today I'm going to show you a detached property that is available to buy. Welcome to 35 Goblin Road. As first impressions go, the entrance hall really sets the tone. With views onto the garden, this 34 foot interconnecting reception room gives you a fantastic formal dining room with large bay window and fireplace. To the adjacent side of the entrance hall, you have the sitting room. Again, large bay window, this time with a wood burning stove, exposed wooden floorboards, and like the dining room, deep skirting board and loads of character. Behind the sitting room is this beautiful open plan kitchen breakfast room, providing that fantastic family social space, the real heart of the home with a high quality kitchen and then views out onto the garden. Found at the back of the entrance hall, we have a rear lobby with mega flow hot water system and laundry area with access then through to a shower wet room close to the garden, so it's ideal if you're working in the garden or you have dogs. You have access down to a cellar, which is really usable, dry space. If you include this space, the property offers 3,000 square foot. We then come upstairs to the first floor. Coming off the landing, you then have a traditional master bedroom with dressing room and ensuite shower room WC. You then have two interconnecting bedrooms with an ensuite shower room WC at the rear. With further bedrooms found to the first floor and they really capture the sun at the front. In addition there is a shower room to the first floor. Coming up to the second floor you have again two interconnecting bedrooms, both are doubles. In addition there is another bedroom and bathroom WC. Coming outside the property's got a nice expansive patio and a nice level lawned garden with raised area of decking at the back, walled enclosure, so plenty of space. Externally, the property is handsomely set back from the roadside. So, to conclude, this rather handsome double fronted Victorian villa is well positioned, ideally located, and it offers really elegant space and views. Vendors bought the place over 10 years ago and gave me a list of works they've carried out, which is too long to tell you about now, but I can tell you after the work was completed, the owner did need two new knees. It's available to buy today with offers in excess of 760, and you can come in and put your feet up on this one. But to be fair, you could also come in and add some personal touches, which in my experience is perfect.